all right guys we're back with another video and in this video i'm gonna show you guys how to add, add like clothing and uh pens to 5m if you so desire and you someone was asking well multiple times someone asked like different people asked me to show them how to add clothing to 5m so this is a simple video on how to do that it's not that hard it's very simple once you understand what to do and it, uh, I'm just going to show you guys how to ha add 5M ready clothing. So it's not going to be like clothing that are not ready. That's a whole other different video I'll have to do. And to show you guys how to make clothing or EUP 5M ready. All right. With that said, guys, um, yeah, let's just start. And if you do like this video and you want to see more of these, you know, more videos like these, like small tutorials, just remember to like hit the like and the subscribe button. And let's just get straight into it first things first what we're gonna do i already have let's start this is a pet this is the pet that we're gonna be putting in and uh, we're gonna be starting with this hoodie so let's just do that go on the hoodie real quick mm. damn i didn't get it all right uh let's go here let's go here let's go so that's the hoodie. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's come here. Um, I'm running out of space. That's weird. All right. So within the server, within your resources, this is what I do normally. So I do. I'll create a folder and I'll call this folder bracket EUP. You guys should already know how I like to keep my stuff organized. But okay, this is the hoodie. Look for the 5M version. How do you know it's 5M ready? It basically looks like this. Anything that's that comes with a resource, underscore resource, underscore, underscore resource that Lua or FX manifest, that pretty much means it is 5M ready. Within our EUP folder, we're just gonna put the hoodie folder. Boom. Put the hoodie in and it's that simple. As I said, this has to be a 5m ready this is for 5m ready clothing you know what i'm saying so like it's not like regular multiplayer clothing like if you were to go in uh clothes and you look for something or you look for a random clothes and it's done and when you download the code the clothes it's not for 5m it's probably going to be like for um just the base game itself and we don't want that let me show you what the base game thing the base game thing this might yeah this so these are somewhat 5m but you still will have to make them 5m ready but these are basically what i'm talking about this is not 5m ready it it's extracted that way but it's not so you're not going to look for that as i said make sure there's a uh, fx manifest or a resource lua attached to the file now if in order to for you to stream clothing I should start my X out because it's not on. In order for you to stream your clothing, you have to have uh what they call the five you have to be you have to be subscribed to the five M uh Patreon pack. Their Patreon uh ele their elemental club. But it it's required for in order for you to stream clothing, but if you do not have the patreon pack if you are not subscribed to their patreon on 5m the best way to go about doing this is go to your qb go to let's minimize it let's maximize this sorry so go to resources go to qb go to qb core and go for look for your config that lua open your config that lua now this is where a just pay attention here in order for you to able to see custom clothes without the patreon pack you need your player count should be between uh, no it should be under 10. normally i set it to eight i know i'm gonna set it to four because i think i remember setting it to like 10 or under or some somewhere at the bottom and it didn't work but it it's like sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i don't know maybe they're changing it i didn't look at it yet so once you're in your qb core config lua change a player count so at least four. Let's let's set it to be four. Let's set it at four just to be safe. All right. 
So with that said, once you once you've done that, you will be able to stream your clothing pack without any any problems. Yeah, I do. That's all we need to do. Uh, let's just set this to four as well, just to be safe. This is your your server CFG, but normally it should be cubic or uh, cubic or config lower. Yeah, that should be sh that should do it. But let's just set in our server CFG set the the max client to four instead of forty eight. We'll just just to be sure. All right. No, that clothing file should be in if you were to start your server. It should be you know showing so on and so forth. Before we start the server, let's get our ped in now sometimes i like to use peds because they're well designed um but let, we're let's add our ped and how you how do we go about adding our peds it's pretty simple it's somewhat it's somewhat simple it's not that straightforward but yeah we'll get it so sophia that's the name of our ped as you notice it comes with a underscore resource that Lua, then he has a ped meta, a peds that meta, and he has a stream folder with all the Sophie stuff in here. No, Sophia, I don't know why I keep calling her that, but let's put this here, Sophia. No, this is where things get interesting. Yeah. For the peds, I think this is where she found. Uh, where's her name? Name, Sophia, okay. So if you open the meta file where the name is, you want to find the name of the ped. Whatever name is here, you want to copy that name. And what you want to do to make sure you go to your whatever multi-character, I think it's multi no, the clothing menu, whatever clothing you're using, any of that, open, let's just, let's open with, open with code let's open all of it with code okay. what we're gonna do yes Russ, please what we're gonna do we're gonna search for free mode free mode let me show you why we search for free mode Oops. is it nice not index okay in the config lua if you're using aluminum experience or appearance i think that's what it's called the reason why I'm showing you to do it like this, because whatever clothing shop or clothing script that you're using, you always want to look for any one of the peds that's in the game already. Or in this instance, the 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 or in this instance it would be like the the what you call the five M uh multiplayer peds. So the, the, the free mode peds, find those. Once you find those, you find you find you you are now in the list of peds. And uh, this one is women model. Let's just go, let's put this this simple I'll hit enter. And then you want to paste the name. Oh no, not do that. Let's put uh not that. Let's put quotations there and we're gonna put our comma. Boom, and we hit save. And that's it. Once we've done that, once we've done that, what we want to do, not you please, what we want to do, head back to our server CFG, and we are going to, oh, let's turn off this visual mod that I have here. What am I doing? Let's not do that. Let's delete this. So you want to ensure your EUP folder. So I'm going to brackets EUP. And yeah, that's done. What I'm doing, what let me tell you what exactly what I'm doing so you guys can follow along. Remember, I created a EUP folder within brackets, meaning if a folder has a has brackets on it, everything within the folder will be started as long as you use the same name of the folder. You ensure the same name of that folder in your server CFG. So I won't have to go in and individually add these to my my start list. All I have to do is add the name of the folder, ensure EUP, and that's it. It's quite simple. It's very easy. No questions asked. All right. Now, with that all set up, let's start our server and let's have a look at our let's have a look at our uh 
piece of clothing on our pen. Yep. All right, now that we are set, let's actually create a character and we're going to use the uh we are going to use the female ped on integrity we are going to be using that female ped that we just added now how do we go about doing that so remember the name of the ped was oh shoot we're not on uh there she is Sophie, uh, if norm, I don't use QB core uh, clothing menu, but if you're using like aluminum appearance or anything that allows you to type out the name of the head that you want, then go for it. Let's change this. Let's confirm this and let's actually get into some lighting out here. And let's let's bring her into the light real quick and there you go that's our ped come on um, and oh what option wait what am i doing there you go and clear all right my graphics are on low right now so please bear with me but that's our ped that is sophie sometimes these characters do these uh Heads do come with like extra, extra, what am I doing? Extra clothing. Let's see if she does. Sometimes they do. Oh, that's wrong. That's clothing. This is the one. Wait, did it change? Bro, I don't use this menu. This is so weird. Here we go. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, it's not sideways. I guess so. some pets do come with the with extra pieces of clothing for their person. Uh, but these don't seem to be there. All right, no. Let's change our ped back to where is this thing? Yo, this menu is so hard to use. Jesus, Kakarot, why would you put this in the QB core framework? Build up. This thing is so hard to use. Let's go back to... Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, let's switch to a male character. This is crazy. Please, make sure to change your... clothing menu. Do not use... QB core is clothing menu. A clothing shop. That's what the script is called. But if you have the chance, change it immediately. Oh, this thing is annoying. Let's come here. As you can see, there's a pen. There she is too. Alright. Now this is a male character. Because the hoodie that we added is for a male. So let's see if we can find it real quick. Any auditions tomorrow? I think you'll be on the jacket. Let's go to clothing. Is it me or this thing ain't weird? Anyways, so as you can see, some of the clothes you will see. Wait, can I go start from the back? No, I can't. So four nine to five. Let's go four nine five. No. Let's see if we can find our hoodie. There it is. Boom. Red hoodie. Oh. So this is the one it replaced. Oh, we have shirt. How do I rotate this thing? Can I even? Yep, that, that is a hoodie. Let's double check our hoodie real quick. Oh, where did we have this? Over here. Where's Sophie. There's a hoodie. Oh, here it is. There it is. Why does this thing look so weird? And there it is. Or pretty. Okay, it's just the two. So I just see it's as simple as that to add clothing to your game. Don't know the file. Start it basically. 
as I say, if you do not have 5M Patreon, if you're not subscribed to 5M page, uh, their Patreon package, which allow you to stream your clothing, it won't work. If you want, if you're not building a server to like, you know, have a bunch of people in and you just have like a small am amount of people in, maybe less than 10, you set your server count to less than 10 and then it will stream the correct amount. It will stream the clothing for you without you being a member of the Patreon pack that uh, 5M has been an element. I think they call it Elemental Club. Yeah, being a part of the Elemental Club. That's it. So that's how you add clothing to 5M. It's as simple as that. Quick and easy. Very straightforward. Very simple. So, as, um, and yes, as I mentioned before, if you guys have any other questions, anything you guys want to see, put them in the comments below. And if this video helped you guys out, just leave a like for your boy. And remember to sub. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace, y'all.